So we all know it's very tempting to stay indoors when it's wet out, but photos taken in the rain can have a really nice feel to them. So I'm gonna show you a piece of equipment that will help you make the most of these conditions and take photos without the fear of getting your camera or telephoto lens soaked. And that is the Think Tank Photo Hydrophobia 300-600 rain cover. Okay, so this is what's inside the carry pouch for the cover. First of all, we have this, which is the eyepiece adapter for your camera. Um, depending on which camera you've got, depends on which um, eyepiece adapter you need. I've obviously got one for the D3, because that's the camera that I'm shooting with. So I simply unscrew my camera's eyepiece, and then screw that into the adapter, like so. And then that just simply screws back onto the camera. So you can see there, I've got the adapter now in place for when I want to attach the cover. I've got arm holes here and here so that you can get your arms inside the, the uh, cover so that you can operate all the camera controls. On the underside of the cover is a zip that's uh, rubber sealed to help keep water out. So we just undo that. That opens up quite nicely then which allows you to thread your lens through. It's a bit fiddly doing this, so that you can see it. I'm going to give it a go. What you want to do now is just do up these fasteners to help keep the cover snug and secure against the lens. And then you pull the cover up over the top. And then where you've got the eyepiece and your hole, as we saw earlier, you just thread that through. Zip this back up. And what you can do is once you're attached to a tripod, you just pull this tight to fasten and close up the hole around the tripod just to, just to help give you a bit of extra protection from water getting in. Outside sleeves allow you to get your hands in, just so you can operate the camera still. And you can also see the LCD screen at the back. Um, unfortunately, this is one thing I don't like, is as you can see, the cover kind of covers up a bit of the screen. So if you want to be able to see the whole picture, you kind of have to look up and under the cover, which is it's a little bit annoying but um, I'd still rather have the camera dry when I'm out in the rain shooting than, than have to worry about looking at the back of the screen quite so much. So it's a, it's a bit of a pain, but um, it's something I can live with. If you've got a split piece lens hood, you can attach this. Pull this one down, and pull this tight to form a nice seal against the two pieces of the cover. Okay, so now we've seen how to attach the cover to your lens and camera. I guess the next thing to do is get it wet. So what we've got here is a pretty light rain shower, which the hydrophobia is obviously standing up to, but this isn't much of a test, and what I think we all want to see is more water being thrown at it. So I decided the only thing to do would be turn the hose on and keep my fingers crossed the cover really does work. Very wet, tripod soaked, but we can live with that. Camera hopefully is dry, should be. Let's have a look inside. Yep, it all looks pretty good in there. So I think it's safe to say that the uh, Think Tank Photo Hydrophobia 300-600 is waterproof. One last thing to show you, uh, the Think Tank Photo um, range of products usually have quite nice little features um, built into them. This one's no exception. What you've got is, uh, is a little flap here that goes round the cover and as you can see it allows you to fold the cover up on itself and store it on the lens so that if you're out and it stops raining or you want to go out and you think it might rain you can have the cover already on the lens ready to go and as soon as you need to get the cover out and get ready if it starts raining all you do is just unfold it like that and then you're good to go. I really like the Hydrophobia and I took it with me to Tessel in Holland recently and it worked really nicely in conjunction with the Skimmersack waterproof beanbag from naturescapes.net.
There are certainly cheap alternatives to keeping your gear dry, but there are also more expensive ones, and at the end of the day, you should use what works best for you. But like I said at the start, pictures taken in the wet really have a nice feel to them, and the addition of rain can make all the difference, such as with this peregrine falcon taken in Holland. And thanks to products like the Hydrophobia, you can get these types of pictures without ruining your camera.